So this question looks like a simplify question. I say that because it is short. Simplify questions are usually between one and three lines long. And because it has this expression here, simplify questions typically have either an expression or an equation. So this question says, if ax minus three is a factor of, and I'm gonna just write down my expression, six x cubed plus 27 x squared minus 54 x, where a is a positive constant, what is the value of A? So this is what I love about this simplify strategy, right? I love it because whenever I see the setup, whenever I see, again, the expression or equation and a very short question, I'm thinking, you know what? I may not know exactly how to find this answer right away, but I'm going to be able to find it as long as I simplify the expression that was given to me. So I'm going to just start off by simplifying this expression. So my first step here is pulling out a greatest common factor. So the GCF here would be 3x. 3x is the largest term that goes into all three of these terms in my expression. So when I pull out a 3x, what I have left inside parentheses here is 2x squared plus 9x minus 18. And then I'm going to simplify what's inside the parentheses. So I'm going to break that down into the product of two binomials. So I have a 2x and a x. That gets me my first term, my 2x squared. And then the factors of negative 18 that I want to try in order to get a positive 9 is going to be, let's see, uh, 6 and 3. So I'm going to say positive 6 here and negative 3 here. Let me just test to make sure this is all good. So 2x times x, that's 2x squared. 2x times 6, that's 12x minus 3x. That makes it 9x. 12x minus 3x is 9x. Perfect. And negative 3 times positive 6 is negative 18. So hopefully you followed how I deconstructed that trinomial into the product of two binomials. And hopefully you've had some practice with that in school. So you know how to do that on your own. Let me just get this back. 2x minus 3 and x plus 6. Perfect. And don't forget I have the 3x in front. So here is the fully factored form of my original question. The question says that ax minus 3 is a factor. So my factors are 3x, 2x minus 3, and x plus 6. So the factor that this question is talking about must be the 2x minus 3 because that is in the form ax minus 3. And therefore, right, so if this is my ax minus 3 that I'm looking for, therefore the, the 2 must equal a. So my answer is 2 for this question.